Hey guys, it's Marcus from Learning with Marcus, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the language Javanese. So, what is Japanese? Well, many people would just say, oh, that's Japanese, but it's definitely not Japanese. And I found an article on Wikipedia describing it, so I was going to read a few interesting things from that article. Okay, the first thing that the article says is that it's not to be confused with the Japanese language, because there's only one letter difference between the two languages, but there is a word of difference between the pronunciations and the language groups. So Javanese is uh, native to Java, the island in Indonesia, around 98 million speakers, which is kind of, is which is very interesting because Javanese is not a language that you hear a lot of people learning or speaking, but there's almost 100 million people in the world that speak it as a native language. So I found that that was very interesting. Also, it's about 42% uh, of Indonesia's population. The language of the Japanese people is from central to eastern Java. And there are pockets of J Japanese speakers in northern Java. And Javanese is a Austro Austronesian language, and it's not very easy to categorize, like you would categorize Latin-based languages, like Spanish, Portuguese, and French or an Italian, but the Javanese is very hard to pinpoint. Um, its closest relatives um, and language-wise are Sundanese, Man Madurese, and Balinese. And it's very close to Indonesian, which is a form of, well, Indonesian was formed from Malay, and Malay and Indonesian are super close. And from what I've seen in Javanese, it's sort of close, but not exact, not as close as Indonesian and Malay. Are. And there are also speakers of Jav Javanese in Malaysia. There is a dialect of Javanese, which is Caribbean Javanese, which I found interesting because it's spoken in, it's a recognized minority language in New Caledonia and also in Netherlands. And there are a few more countries that um, it's recognized as a language. So I found this really interesting. And the reason why I did all this research is because the program that I'm learning languages on um, just got a Javanese course. So I was, I'm going to try to do that and finish it by the end of the summer. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about, you know, my new languages that I'm learning in my um, recap for July because July has been a very interesting month and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I've enjoyed learning Japanese so far. I've only done about like a few lessons but I plan to do more. There are only 50 lessons and with the program that I'm using some languages that are more popular like Spanish and French have 20 chapters but Japanese only has 10 chapters and I'll explain a few more languages like that in my language recap. So, are you guys learning any interesting languages this summer? If so, leave them in the comments down below. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video, and please hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my latest videos. Okay, until next time, I'm Marcus from Learning with Marcus.